This is the driest liquid I've ever had in my life. As you know, we are in Florence this weekend. It is Saturday and today we have a very fun adventure planned. It is a classic excursion that you have to do when you're in Tuscany and it is a wine tour. <laughs> There was an 8.30 a.m. option and a 2.30 p.m. option. Obviously, we were doing a 2.30 p.m. option. Didn't really feel like waking up and drinking wine at like 9 a.m. So this is probably a better option for everybody involved. Sorry I'm different. Nice sticker. Thanks. It means I'm part of a group. I just want to be part of something. <laughs> And one hour later, we made it to our first winery of the day. This is one of two on the tour that we're doing. For our first stop, we're at Torciani. We had a wine tasting of four different wines. The first was white, the next one was red. Oh, Gotta get her going first. <laughs> Definitely smells red. It smells woody, or tastes woody. There's three different kinds of wood. Yeah, like smoky. Yeah. The next one was also red, and then the last one was rosé. We went from youngest to oldest, so the white was youngest, and then the rosé was the oldest. We also got paired with a bunch of different foods. We had salami, cheese, different kinds of bread. I even got gluten-free bread and truffle oil, and oh boy, did they sell me. Obviously, they want you to buy something, and they ship to the U.S. for like a low tax, low cost. So they got me. I got two bottles of truffle and the one thing of white wine for 100 euro. <laughs> We are in the Chianti region just outside of Florence. There are a ton of vineyards out here and it is famous for the wine they make. So we are very excited for the rest of this tour. Off to winery number two. Katie's currently mad at me because I keep offering to take everyone's picture. Before we leave, we obviously have to go see the local horse at the, I guess it's a vineyard, not a winery. Like I should be poop. saying vineyard maybe. Oh God, That's a lot of poop. poop. Hello, Mr. Horse. In college, we did like a spirit animals PowerPoint and my spirit animal was voted this guy. That, that specific horse. This specific horse in Tuscany. I didn't identify with it then, but I, I kind of see it now. Oh, you actually flipped like at the right time. Good job. Slow-mo that. Stop number two of the day. I forget the name. Poggio I... Laghi? Po Poggio ai... Ai? A ai? Ai? Laghi? Poggio e laghi. Poggio ai laghi. <laughs> That's good. The red? Not so much. If you thought that other red wine was dry, this is the driest liquid I've ever had in my life. Smells really good. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I think it's the grapes. Maybe. Do you smell it? It smells like wood yeah, and fire. It's like a smoky like, smell. So faint. It's absolutely beautiful here. To be honest, it wasn't my favorite because I liked the first one better. It felt more intimate. It felt like it was honestly better. I liked the wine more and I liked the oil better. But this was also really good. Three out of the five wines were red and two were white. We also got more truffle oil and extra virgin olive oil. It was really special. I definitely recommend taking a wine trip to Tuscany because it's so unique and delicious. Time to leave. Heading back to Florence now. Sad. This is a lot of fun. The driver and our tour guide said we could be back in Florence anytime between 7 p.m. and 9.45 p.m. We got like a three hour difference here. We'll see what happens. For reference, like I said earlier, it took us an hour to get out here. So the traffic could be wild. We're hoping it won't be. Yeah. 
as you can probably tell, we're not huge wine people. It was a lot of fun. We prefer white over red. We had a great time, but now it's time to get some food. I like to think I'm a wine person. I think in my future life, I will be. We are at Mr. Pizza again to get some gluten-free pizza. It's really delicious. I get the truffle Toscana. I get the truffle pizza. It's called Toscana. It's so good. And I got another glass of wine because why not keep the ball rolling today? And today's just been a really good day. Well, that was delicious. One more stop tonight before we head back. We saved some room by taking one slice of pizza home each. We're getting gluten-free gelato, baby. Very fresh. Fresh. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> if you're keeping track at home, this is our third day in a row of getting gelato. Grom is gluten-free and delicious. So highly recommend. Stracella. 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 We've decided that Sarah's not good at languages. What? I'm not good at a lot of things innately. I have to work really hard at things to get good at them. So KJ just kind of is naturally really good at things, which is so annoying. <laughs> Ending the day right where the day started. Today was awesome. Highly recommend doing a winery tour while you're here in Tuscany. I know I said we're not really wine people. It's just the way we are. I mean, it was still awesome though. We had a great time, met a lot of cool people. So sorry if today's vlog like wasn't as good talking wise. We're still kind of perfecting the art of talking in front of big groups or near other people. It can be a little awkward, admittedly, so we're trying to get through that, but nonetheless, today was a great day, but otherwise, we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Are you going to be behind you, or are you covering me? Cover me. Go that way a little bit more. <laughs> so we had salami. Is it salami? Yeah. Maybe it's the rooster is significant because there's roosters. Maybe. What? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa now. Driving in my Fiat. I really got to see it. Six foot two in a compact. No slack. The reality of all of this is that these pants are really hot.